angioplasty has its limitations. And I think stent grafts, in particular the gore vibon endoprosthesis, allows us to give them a better quality treatment for their lesions. And what I like about the gore vibon in general is the flexibility of the device. It's the closest thing we have that conforms to the natural twist and turns of the patient's own natural veins and vessels. And there really is nothing else out there like it. I think we have to step back and look at our patient population. Dialysis patients are generally the sickest people in the hospitals many times. There's a lot of comorbidities, and frankly, they wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for the ability to have dialysis. Dialysis access is what keeps them going, and I think it's, as physicians, it's our responsibility to ensure that we have the best functioning access for our patients. This allows them to live. This is, I think, where the device really shows its unique characteristics. I think the venous anastomosis of forearm grafts, particularly loop grafts or straight grafts, the challenge there is that it lies at the antecubital fossa, and that's an area of flexion, bending, takes high stresses and, and high movement in general. So having a device like the Gore Vibon endoprosthesis that's flexible and yet durable at this site is fantastic because it allows us to manage and treat these lesions across the antecubital fossa, which can handle flexion and extension. Revised studies have demonstrated superior patency rates, both primary and secondary patency rates, at this site of immense stresses. What's been remarkable is the durability of these areas. And we've had many patients with recurrent thrombosis. All of a sudden, we place the gore vibon endoprosthesis at the venous anastomosis at the antecubital fossa, and we've broken the thrombosis cycle. Patients have gone from recurrent thrombectomies to no thrombectomies at all, less misdeep treatments of dialysis, and better overall functioning of life and less dialysis overall. So it's really remarkable. It's, it's really amazing how durable the device is in that area. And I think the ability for the core viabon and the prosthesis to flex and turn and move with the patient and live with the patient um, is really remarkable in AV access. For our dialysis patients, you know, thrombosis of a graft is really an urgent, critical thing for them. Um, they rely on these accesses for life. And without a good functioning access, you can't get good quality dialysis, and it can be fatal if, if not treated or managed adequately. So what we found in our algorithm, which was actually supported through the revised trials, is that we've had better outcomes, longer lasting patency, when we've treated these venous anastomosis lesions with stent grafts during the initial thrombectomy procedures. I think the management of dialysis access with angioplasty has its limitations. We get to points where Lesions don't respond anymore to angioplasty. We get aggressive restenosis. We get aggressive short-term stenosis. We get recoil. And in those instances, there's really no other management that we can do. You can balloon things over and over, and there comes a point where you really get unacceptable recurrent stenosis. You have unacceptable recurrent lesions. And on the patient's standpoint, it becomes incredibly frustrating to have recurrent access issues. Those issues may be manifested with bleeding, may be manifested with recurrent thrombosis. So I think it's ensuring that we provide the highest quality of care to sometimes the patient population that needs it the most. And I've found that it's made a life-changing difference to my patients.